It's Crafty Rose La 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 with another tutorial. Um, this one was requested again by KitKat61. No, KitKat Lover 61 Here it is. Here, I have a tissue box. So I'm deciding to make a tutorial on this. And you are going to need two different colors of clay. Mine aren't very different colors, but that's okay. One for the box. Um, one for the spots on the box, but the spots are optional, you don't have to make them. And transparent for the tissue, or white. I decide to use transparent because tissues are very thin and you can see through them-ish. Like this is transparent. Okay, so you're going to take your color that you're using for the box. It's a, this is a very easy tutorial, so you're going to want to just squeeze it into a rectangle shape. And now you're going to want to take your other your color for the dots, and um, you could do this either way. You could pinch off pieces and roll them into a ball and then flatten them, or you could cut this into pieces. I am going to cut them into pieces, but you don't want them to be. Well, you could make them all even, but it, like um, it's supposed to look uneven because it's like sort of cute. And you don't need to have them on each side, I just chose to do that in my example. So, you're going to roll each little piece into a ball and flatten it on the box. Wait, this one's too big. Like that. And now you are just going to make as many as you want. You can put them on each side if you want, or just like a couple of sides. And if the pieces you cut are too big, at like mine, um, just take off pieces, obviously. And that'll work. So there, I have two sides done already. Now I'm just gonna do these two sides. Sorry, that was a phone. <laughs> and I'm almost done. So there's the box, and here's where we get into the tissue parts. So you're going to take a polymer clay rolling thing, or um, like this, you could use the end of it to roll it flat. So use this. You're going to want to roll it as flat as possible. And you're going to cut it into a square shape. Like that. Wait, but you want it into like a rectangle shape, so you might want to trim the edges off. So there, that should be good. This is how you put it on. You're going to take one edge and flatten it on like that. So you're going to push that part down so it will stick better. And then you are going to just curve it. Like that. And then, um, well that's it, we're done. Feel free to request new tutorials in the comments below. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. 
and um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye!